Hi there, this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Scorpio. Hello, Scorpios and Scorpio cross watchers. This is your Be Mine Valentine readings. Um, the extendeds, if you wish to purchase them, will contain sexual tarot magic deck cards as well as some others. So the extended would be found in the category of Zodiac Intimate extended readings if you wish to rent it now you can click on the link below it will take you straight to my website and also in the link below if you would like to become a patron on my new patreon where all of my other erotic tarot readings are then you can go ahead and click on the link there it's saltwater hills tarot in patreon but you cannot search for me there because it's 18 and plus videos right it's with all the the sexual tarot magic that cards sell scorpio there's no surprise here, okay? You have codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. There's an obsession. It's typical Scorpio. Scorpios are either not, in, not interested at all or they're fucking obsessed. Now, for some of you, this could be an old relationship, right? An old karmic relationship, an old, an old codependent relationship where it was, can't live without you and kind of, you know, whatever, but... Someone here is holding back. I mean, look at her posture and look at her position. She's sort of like, like this and she's holding a flower and it's almost like, I know that if I take a bite, I won't be able to stop eating. I know if I take a lick, I won't be able to stop licking. I know that if I allow myself to fall, it might not be pretty. Someone here is, it's like their heart is about to burst. Like, it's like that feeling of, you ever have that feeling where like you, your heart beats really fast rapidly? And that's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling like this really fast heartbeat, like butterflies in the chest. Look at that. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. And you have getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So there is this oh my god because it could be someone new right and if this is somebody new then what would happen is is like you're in this process of oh so what do you like to do how's your job how's work how's your family blah blah, blah. and it's like this this intimacy of conversation and 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 the deepening of that i think is freaking somebody out Again, if this is Scorpio, then hello. And keeping with the theme, let's do one of the lover's oracle. If you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. For the heart is the gateway to the soul. I'm telling you, man, there's something about the heart and the heart chakra and feelings. Someone's heart wants to burst, but it's because it's filled with like... Um, It's so much emotions that somebody's feeling that it almost makes it difficult to articulate. It's like their heart is just so, see, the King of Cups. Someone's heart's about to burst with emotions. Someone feels a lot. This could be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but it could be any sign that's just feeling a lot of fucking emotions. And it's so much. It's like the cup is about to like boil over, like, 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 like the cup runneth over. But it's like it's boiling. It's like it's, it's, it's turbulent. And it's like someone's even upset about it. And it doesn't mean that it has to be a male. It could be a male or a female. Okay, that's coming up under this energy. This is love, it's commitment, it's, see, I told you, look, the heartbreak. It fell on codependency. If I allow myself to fully submerge in this, I'm gonna break my own fucking heart because that's what always happens. I always get obsessed and it never ends up working out. So someone's holding back because they're saying like, I want this so much that I feel like if I take a bite and I partake, it's gonna end disastrously. 
And so this is, it's, it's, it's holding back and then it's breaking their heart because they're holding back, but then they're also afraid that if they open up, that they're gonna break their heart like that too. It's like they feel like they can't win no matter what. See, nine of wands, look, the wounded warrior. Someone's afraid of past pain and now it's, it, it, it makes them move cautiously or not move at all. And then the tower, the bottom of the deck, it's like this sudden, it may have hit this person suddenly. Holy fuck, I'm in love. Now they freak out. It could be a sudden ending, right? This may have been something in the past they've dealt with a lot. Sudden endings, sudden new beginnings. The tower can also be an epiphany, right? It's like this sudden epiphany of something. The tower is divine intervention. It's universal guidance. The universe comes in and they say, what the fuck is this? It's rearrangement as well too. But that's the thing, right? The re rearrangement might not be something that's pleasant. Right? Seven of Pentacles is waiting. Hold on. Seven of Pentacles is waiting. So... Someone here is almost like, and it's very typical Scorpio energy. You have a death here, right? Scorpio. It's like, I'm just going to sit here and wait for it to just end. It's going to end anyway. It's like waiting for the other shoe to drop. And the other shoe doesn't drop. Knight of Swords. Judgment. Final decision here. Someone's got to like make a decision and stick with the shit. Someone here is not even speaking. Possibly there's no communication because someone here is holding back tremendously. <sighs> you know what it is as well? Have you ever felt like you, you want something so fucking much and you're just like, oh my God, I want it so much that it's, 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 it's almost painful because it's like, the idea of, of, of getting it or not getting it is just so tremendous that it's like you, you just feel like some type of way about it. And I feel like that's what this is. Separation, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure future. It's a yearning. It, because remember we talked about how they just felt so much their heart was going to burst. It's this yearning. They miss you so much or they want you so badly or they want to talk to you or they want to start conversation or they want to continue conversation. If it started already or if it has not yet, however it works for you, is a yearning, a deep yearning. There's the boat arriving. It also talks about moving on. Someone here in the past had to move on from what they wanted because it didn't work out for whatever reason and it was brutal. And they don't, and someone here doesn't want to relive the past. The chaser. The chaser in a codependent relationship. Codependency is right there. Fear of abandonment issues. See, they're just afraid that it's not going to work out. Someone here is really aggressive with letting it be known what they want. You also have the wedding rings on the bottom of the deck. I mean, an engagement ring underneath that. Now, number one, this could be a marriage that didn't work out in the past, right? It's very traumatizing if that's happened. I mean, I've never been married, so, but I can imagine that's traumatizing. So this could have been in the past a marriage didn't work out, right? And so now this person's real jaded and they're real hurt. They're the wounded warrior. Now, this might be the energy of someone saying, because see, she's sitting back relaxing, right? So someone could be chasing you or vice versa, right? And the person who's being chased is going, oh, I just know how this is going to end. It's not going to end well. It always starts like this. It always starts like, oh my God, and everything gets great. And then I put all my hopes into this shit and then my soul and my heart gets crushed. And it's like, okay, that did happen, but is that gonna happen again? Are there red flags? Mature man. There could be an age difference here. Someone could be older. Obviously the, the man could be older, the masculine. This could be a non-romantic energy in your life as well. The gift false person and toil and labor 
Someone's working really hard to hide their shit. They're working real hard to hide their feelings or, or, or not offer some shit. The gift here could also be around someone's birthday. This can also be someone gives you something, right? Or holiday. What's the next holiday? Valentine's. Be mine. Someone here has been doing a pretty great job at pretending or pushing away something that they really, 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 really wanted. But I feel like that's not going to last for much longer. Because I think that the straw going to break the camel's back. It's too much. See, look, that burden, the albatross burden. It, it's it's too heavy of that feeling of like, <gasps> it's like, it's like, it's the heart's about to burst. The key, the key is about opening up. And then the Wheel of Fortune, which is turning point and sudden change, you know, and it's destiny and fate and good luck and fortune and all this shit. But it's about like the sudden change is going to be the opening up. It's like, it's like once you open up completely, things change. And someone here is really carrying this heavy burden of not speaking it. See, look, the stallion says strong emotions, right? the wilds it's it's about sexual energy and desire and it's like that's what this person feels but they're pretending they don't imagine that imagine you feel all this stuff for a person and you want something so bad and you pretend like you don't divine intervention see that's just like the tower but in this card the double rainbow is about duality and perfect timing and it's serendipity and it's ascension and good luck it's just like the wheel of fortune there's some kind of faded good luck encounter here, or that's maybe how you guys met. The Fool, taking a leap of faith. Jumping in, a new opportunity. This can also be a free spirit, right? Somebody who gets out of their fucking head. Somebody here's two in their head and they gotta get out of their head and get into their heart and make sure they don't sit there and make terrible decisions from only here. Then it's about, you know, kind of using using logic and heart, logic and heart, finding that perfect balance. It's like, you're not gonna go in there and be stupid, but shit, you gotta go in there and do something or open up or allow or, or be whatever. I mean, the open part feels important because you also had keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ. Some of you, there there's, could be something that's prohibiting you from being open-minded to it. Maybe it's age. Maybe it's because you think they're coming on too strong and it's too good to be true. Whatever the fuck this is. But anyways, we're going to get into your extended. Again, if you want to purchase it, I will be using the sexual tarot magic deck card. So if you are offended by gorgeous, artistic, beautiful, naked images, do not purchase it, okay? Click on the link below to get it, to rent it. It's going to be in the Zodiac Intimate readings okay and you'll know it's this series because it'll have your name scorpio with be mine on your default pick okay but always match up the title with this versus what you want to rent you can't go wrong you can't fuck it up like that thank you for your likes your shares and your subscriptions here on youtube follow me on instagram xi underscore missy underscore xi honey all right scorpios and scorpio cross watchers i'll see you in your extended love you